Let's paint up the ruins of Asgiliath. Once proud city of the Kingdom of Gondor, now laid siege and in ruins by the forces of Mordor. This is a very detailed terrain set that has lots of pieces. So take your time building them, and once you're done, you should have 4 full building ruins. To help me hold on to them while I paint, I am going to apply double sided tape onto the bottom of the ruins and attach them onto a stick. You can use a painting stick or any other scrap piece of wood that you have laying around. I just apply two pieces of tape like this and I lay it down onto the stick. I press really hard so that there's a chance for it to pressurize and stay firmly in place. I start the process by priming everything white. I apply this with an airbrush into each terrain piece and I make sure that I cover everything. It is okay if certain areas are brighter than others because it will give the model some variation and shadow. For the grayish brown look that I want to give these buildings, I use 4 parts holy white with 1 part hardened leather, which are army painters beat paints. I also water them down a little bit with flow improver. Army Painter Speed Paint is pretty runny, so mix about 80% paint with 20% flow improver. The look that I'm hoping to achieve is what I had on my Heroes video a few videos ago. I apply this mix with my airbrush and I put it fairly close to the model so I get enough color saturation onto all the surfaces. I try to do one wall first before moving on to the next one and I just keep adding more mixture as I need it. These are very big terrain pieces and I find myself having to refill the cup of my airbrush several times. I spray this paint mix into every corner of the model. I vary the tone a little bit from one area to the next just to give it variation and since these are ruins they're not going to have a completely uniform color scheme all the way around it. There's going to be some splotchiness and a little bit of variation and you want that. These are after all ruined buildings. Next, I do some brushwork with hardened leather and a very broad brush. I apply this brown onto all the doors and also on all the floor joists which are underneath the model right here. For efficiency, I put the brown down all in one direction before changing to another direction and doing the other set of joists. There are quite a few of these pieces of wood, so take your time and try to do all of them the best you can. What I try to do is apply this color especially in areas that are visible. Other areas that are not so visible, I don't give that much attention to. What's nice about this Army Painter Speed Paint is that it lays down very well onto all these pieces of wood. The low viscosity of the paint and the capillaric effect of it allowed me to get it onto a lot of the model without trying too hard. I used a bit of gunmetal metallic paint for the door handles on both doors. I now put light tone wash straight up into the cup of my airbrush and I spray it into the bottom of the floors to create some shadow. I also randomly spray this wash onto the stone areas to create weathering effect and to make certain areas darker. I do not wash the whole model, just certain areas just to give it a different tone. After this step, varnish your models to protect your paint job. And with that, your ruins of Asgiliath will be ready for the tabletop. Thank you for following this series on the Battle of Asgiliath box set. If you haven't watched the rest of the videos in this series, I will include the playlist in the upper right hand corner. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you again in a future video. Happy hobbying!